Nearly two hours of testimony on the latest installment of a library bill didn't leave much time for the Senate State Affairs Committee to reach a vote. Latest attempt for the state to regulate what's appropriate for a local library to put on its shelves is being held at the call of the chair. We should see it again and the committee will likely give it a vote. However, the pause could also give senators time to weigh what they heard today. And what they heard was a lot like what their colleagues heard on the House side of the State House. A lot of public testimony with the majority in strong opposition. Only a single lobbyist supported House Bill 710 this morning. The dozens others begged for the bill to be killed. Here's Andrew Bartline. Legislating libraries leads to a testimony of readers. The passion you have for what you do. And they're pulling no syllables, let alone books. There is no pornography in Idaho libraries. Trying now their own hand at writing. I would like to say that I didn't have this much gray hair three years ago. <laughs> Even librarians have a knack for the best medicine. She said, oh, Grandma, I hear worse than that at the bike crack. <laughs> Probably not going to get a lot of argument there. Uh, a prescription in high demand. It's the only thing that saved me. Crystal Ivy turns back the page yeah. to her childhood. I was abused. Um, I knew it was wrong, but I didn't have the words to say what was happening to me. It was a book called One Child. It had a little girl sitting in a chair looking really sad. I identified with that. The feelings of sitting there being completely overwhelming, this compulsion that I needed to tell someone what was happening to me. Did you get the help you needed after that? Uh, yes, I did. It was a long, long path. A book that maybe otherwise isn't best fit for other children. You close the book, you look at the author, and you never check that author out again. That's the end of discussion. A diagnosis from librarian mm -hmm. Robert Wright. In the words of Cool Hand Luke, there's a failure to communicate here. That's between the legislature and the ideological. We don't want children to have access to inappropriate materials. The librarians and the practical. What the law says is what the law says. It writes an adult-only section for any material harmful to minors. So what does that mean? Idaho state law already defines the terms, but Roberts Council finds the bill more broad. Said you had an attorney on speed dial. Every time a library bill comes up, we spend a lot of time talking back and forth. The bill judges inappropriate material with the Miller test. It's a national legal standard, but not copied in full to the legislation. It simply does not make sense to me. What is this modified Miller test? It looks to me the way they modified it, you could take a paragraph out of context and have a problem with the book. Am I getting that right? Well, it'll depend what the 12 people on the jury say. That's what the attorney says. At least one in committee, House Bill 710, says it means safety for all kids. I presented a petition where 2,221 Idahoans in favor of our position, which is restricting harmful material to minors. Grace Howitt's a lobbyist mm -hmm. and argues the bill's written for the bad librarians not to worry about the good ones. And so these laws are meant to stop those particular bad actors. But what about Crystal and her librarian from 1982? I guarantee you they'll never forget it either. One questionable book that rewrote her whole life. But reading about some other little girl's story who grew up a lot like me, I realized that I did matter and that probably someone would care. And it gave me the courage that I, I didn't even know existed. That bill will go back to Chairman Guthrie, and he can revisit it at whatever point he so chooses. So we do expect to see it again. And the reason for it, Brian, is that uh, two hours of testimony, mm -hmm. it had to get to the floor. Yeah. They would have had five, ten minutes maybe to make a decision on it. Clearly, it has more weight than that. They did get to almost everyone in public testimony. There are a few people remote they missed, but everyone in that room that signed up did get to testify. It'll be interesting to see if they do what the House did, where they heard all of this testimony against it and went ahead with it anyway. So we'll see how that plays out when we get it back. It's tough to read people's body language, but yeah. you can tell a lot of people are thinking about it. And there's very good questions too. Okay, thanks Andrew.